What's up everybody? This is Jeremy Hunter, AKA Scott 2 Network here. Typically I'm making like ska and music related videos, but this video is a little different from everything else that I'm doing. It is music related, but it goes out more towards people who are in the DCI and marching band world. In 2015, I auditioned for the Blue Coats and I got accepted to march in the 2016 year. And that was my rookie year and my age out was 2017. So I marched two years of drum corps with the Blue Coats. My time with the Blue Coats allowed me to grow a lot as a person and as a musician. Um, I learned a lot about performing. I learned a lot about playing my instrument. And a lot of people ask me, like, what do I have to do to make the Blue Coats? Do I need prior experience? Do I need to be a music major? Do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? So this video is going to be kind of brief, and it's just going to explain what you should do to audition to Blue Coats. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all of the materials you need. Make sure that you have an instrument that is working, and make sure that you have all of the audition materials. The audition materials are available to you via the Blue Coats website. So you have a lot of time to prepare and it's very clear what they ask for in the audition materials. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have a nice speaker. My recommendations, a Yamaha C115V, a Yamaha DSR 115 active speaker, a Yamaha DSR 215 active speaker, Yamaha DSX 18 subwoofer, or a combination of about a hundred of those across the field. Now this is the audition process, so you don't really need to have the perfect equipment, but it's just highly recommended that you get this equipment. So what I have right here is the AT4040. It is a condenser microphone. Um, it requires phantom power to run. You know, I use it in all of my recordings. But here's like the interesting thing. So watch the difference between me not using the microphone and me using the microphone. <laughs> So there's my B-flat scale without the microphone. A lot of people are surprised because it doesn't sound much like, you know, when I played my solos in the, in the show. But, uh, you know, here's, here's it with the microphone. The microphone, please, right here. the difference that a good microphone and speakers makes it sounds sounds almost like an entire drum core so here's my trumpet um it's just a you know beater trumpet that i have um not really good at trumpet but you know you know here's without the microphone <laughs> It's not that good, but watch as I watch as I use the microphone. Watch what happens. It's, it's like a completely different player. It's 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 mind-boggling how much you can do with just a microphone and some speakers. So if you just follow these simple steps, because this is basically what I did when I auditioned, and if you too follow these simple steps, you too can get contracted with the Blue Coats. So once again, thank you very much. I hope this was very resourceful and helpful to anyone who's out there. I wish everybody who's auditioning to any corps a very successful audition process. Whether you receive a contract or not, it's a great experience. You will learn a lot regardless which corps you're at. And I can't wait to see everybody out on the field in 2019.